tough loss night three two. I thought it was an interesting game because if you look at the second period, it probably didn't deserve to be tied two two. Then you come in third period and play a really good period and, and could have won the game, but in the end you lost. It. What's your take on things? Yeah, well, I, you know what? I, I think you uh, you know you chatted about it a little bit last night when we talked about uh, you know having a rest of the OIT, OIT team and you know us uh, go, having a hard game last night against Queens. I, I think we definitely felt the effects tonight. I haven't seen it earlier in the year uh, when we played back to back and against the rest of the team, but tonight uh, the OIT definitely had more juice than us, uh, a lot more energy. They uh, uh, had a lot more contacts. They played harder than us, and uh, you know they, you know I think they deserve the win. It was a, a t tough to give up the win with a minute uh, and 30 seconds left in the third after we kind of crawled back in the game. But uh, you know full value to them. They're uh, they played very very well, and uh, you know I don't know whether they're maybe six and one in their last seven now, but a uh, very very good team. So um, if you see the stats, it said it was 27-3 in shots in the second period for UOIT. I don't think they really had that many, but a great game tonight for Peter Delmont really kept you in the game. Yeah, you know what, it's uh, it's great for Peter. You know, all year our goalies have played very, very well. I mean, even some games we've, uh, you know, given up some big numbers. We've given up five goals a couple times. You know, we just had some mental mistakes that we've uh, uh, allowed some easy goals. Not necessarily their fault, but certainly nice to uh, see Peter have a game like that. He's been working hard in practice, and uh, nice to see him. Uh, get back to the form I think he expects of himself. So is it just getting to a point just playing with those four D? I mean, you don't have any choice, as you said last night. Just with, It's just getting it's harder and harder, especially on back-to-back -back and against quite a physical team like UOIT. Sure, you know, the, the longer they have to do it, the more difficult it is for them too. But, uh, you know, we're, we're hopeful maybe we get one or two guys back next weekend. They've got a little bit of good news today out of some guys. So, uh, you know, we'll just be hopeful that we can get them back and maybe, you know, get a full lineup in back there on the blue line and uh, uh, make the game a little bit easier for them but certainly great job by those guys I mean who uh, have two very very close games against uh, two quality opponents the last couple nights with uh, uh, only four D back there uh, it's uh, you know they did a great job I'm talking to Peter Delman goaltender for Mustangs after a tough 3-2 loss today um, Let's talk about that winning goal came at a minute 31 left. You made a great first save. What did you see on the rebound, or were you able to see it at all? Um, it was kind of a broken play, so I think I was a little bit behind on the original save. And uh, because of that, I kind of kicked it out to kind of an odd spot. And uh, I think we all just kind of scrambled for it. And by the time I found it, I was on my back, and it was too late to try and get up. So I was hoping he was going to just shoot it at me. Oh. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, went in. So tonight, 53 shots, 50 saves. You must, uh, I mean, were you feeling kind of in the group in, in, in during the game? Yeah, for sure. Um, I always like getting more shots. Uh, keeps you in the game. And I just felt really good tonight. Um, just tried to uh, stick with my game plan during the whole game, and I did. And, um, you know, we were pretty tired. We, you know, we only had four D, so uh, it was really hard to play last night and then tonight for those defense. So um, I think for... I think the, our forward we played awesome, and uh, you know they did a great job in front of us. Now in that second period, you know, I think you were shot 27 to three. Maybe the team didn't even deserve to be in the game, but it was came out two two. Uh, what was said in the third, in, in between the second and third period? Well, it was just great because we had a chance to win, so uh, you know we were right in it, and if we had, you know win the period, win the game type of thing. So um, you know we, we we were positive, and I thought we started off the period really well too. So. Um, you know, that's, you know, all you can do is try and give your team a chance to win. Now, how about you personally? Uh, I don't know if it, the transition from, you know, pro hockey, which you played before, and you didn't play at all last year. Do you feel getting more comfortable as the season goes on? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I didn't think it would take this long for me to kind of um, find myself, but it, it has taken quite a while. And, uh, you know, it's different, too, with juggling school and, like, a full course load. That was something different as well. So, um, but I think I've kind of found the balance now. And, you um, you know, uh, tonight was a good step forward in that. Okay, thanks very much. Congratulations. Thanks.